We live in a world where one in five people are suffering from some kind of mental illness. Unfortunately, in the same world, mental illness is still considered a big, big taboo, even in the 21st century. Don't you agree? Hello, beautiful people of this beautiful planet. Welcome to my channel. My name is Dr. Aditi Bharti. And today's topic of discussion is yeah, the importance of psychiatry and uh, the importance of knowing mental illness a topic of discussion which should be a very casual discussion in every household let's get started so i want to be a psychiatrist i want to pursue psychiatry as my post graduation and i'm very keen towards it so whenever i tell people and whenever i have a conversation with people about psychiatry i always receive very weird replies to this people would say kyun tumhe pagal ka doctor banna hai tumhe pata hai psychiatrist eventually khud pagal ho jate hain and trust me you few of this is coming from people from medical background which really um, shocks me like क्यों ऐसा क्यों लोग सोचते हैं ऐसा क्यों लोग बोलते हैं और ऐसा नोशन क्यों रहता है लोगों के दिमाग में कि साइकाइट्री इज नॉट ऑफ इम्पॉर्टेंस सो आई टॉक विद पीपल आई टॉक अराउंड आई रेड अ फ्यू ब्लॉग्स अबाउट इट एंड आई कन आई कंक्लूडेड कि ऐसे दो रीजंस होते हैं जिसकी वजह से साइकाइट्री एक बड़ा टैबू है आज भी सो एम गन टॉक अबाउट दैट फर्स्टली द बिगेस्ट रीजन आई वुड से इज स्टिग्मा अगर हम स्टिग्मा को लिटरली डिफाइन करें उसकी डेफिनेशन है अ मार्क ऑफ डिस्क्रेस एसोसिएटेड विद अ पर्टिकुलर सर्कमस्टांस क्वालिटी और अ पर्सन एज अ रिजल्ट ऑफ स्टीरोटाइप अगर हिंदी में ट्रांसलेट करें तो स्टिग्मा का मतलब होता है कलंक लाछन धब्बा Which are few self-explanatory words in the language of Hindi. So, a branch of medicine, which is called Kalang, is called. Its reason is that why is it that people still believe psychiatry to be a stigma? Reason number two is fear. We have associated psychiatric illnesses and mentally Ill, mentally ill patients with danger, violence. aggressive behavior instability and specifically to be mad people which trust me is completely opposite to what and how an a patient of mental illness mostly presents then how and where do we get this preconceived notion of a psychiatric patient to be dangerous or violent media movies tv shows just think for a second about all the movie villains who have had some like portrayed to have some kind of mental illness and i don't even want to touch bollywood on this topic so when we portray a patient of mental illness in such a way it tends tend to be perceived as dangerous and violent which is one of the biggest reason why people are so afraid to come forward and uh, talk about this thing or to come forward as a patient of this thing or have a family member suffering from some kind of mental illness and to be open about it this is one of the biggest reason and fear leads to stigma fear ki wajah se logo ko stigma hota hai fear ki wajah se log sochte hain ki ab agar mera मेरे घर में मेरे परिवार में कोई किसी मेंटल से रिडन होगा और हम किसी साइकाइट्रिस्ट की हेल्प लेंगे सो द सोसाइटी इज गोइंग टू कंसिडर अस दीज थिंग्स एंड दैट प्रिवेंट्स अ पेशेंट सफरिंग फ्रॉम अ क्रॉनिक इलनेस अ क्रॉनिक मेंटल इलनेस टू सीक हेल्प एंड बी ट्रीटेड एंड टू आंसर वेन पीपल से दैट साइकाइट्रिक पेशेंट्स आर डेंजरस एंड वायलेंट Imagine having to suffer through a chronic illness all by yourself. In your mind, you don't have anyone to talk to. You do, you can't express it. You do, you are not able to seek help because of the stigma. 
you're there with your family or loved ones surrounded by them but you can't talk to them you have to suffer through this all by yourself imagine a person like that they'll be more a danger to for themselves than to the society they are sick people they are patients they need help they do not need discrimination they do not need your judgment they need you to understand what's going on with their with them and you, they need you to help them we don't need stigma and fear what we rather need is understanding support and empathy how do we do that talk to each other have a conversation talk to your friends your family your colleagues your kids talk to someone who you think is in need of this conversation and let's just normalize this if we normalize talking about mental health within our families and our circle one day maybe we'll be very like much more acceptable of this and we'll be able to help and treat various kinds of mental illnesses and so many patients so what we need to do is talk about it listen and understand about it and try to learn trust me one day this is immensely going to help you or someone you love this is psychiatry is of uttermost importance in our world right now and it's high time we give it that importance i hope through this one way conversation i was able to put forward my thoughts and uh, i was able to make you understand why psychiatry is important why it is important to talk about it and if i did then just go and talk to that one person that came to your mind while i was having this conversation with you go talk to that person or if you're that person go seek help trust me it's going to help you and uh, that was this video thank you so much for watching uh, i hope you like this video stay tuned i'm going to post another video very soon and we'll have more such conversations in the future thank you so much for watching i hope you have a great day and as i always say stay happy and healthy both physically and mentally bye